Mass comparison is a method developed by Joseph Greenberg to determine the level of genetic relatedness between languages. It is now usually called multilateral comparison. The method is rejected by most linguists Campbell 2001, p. 45, though not all. Some of the top-level relationships Greenberg named had already been posited by others and are now generally accepted e.g. Afro-Asiatic and Niger-Congo. Others are accepted by many though disputed by some prominent specialists e.g. Nilo-Saharan, others are predominantly rejected but have some defenders e.g. Eurasiatic, while others are almost universally rejected e.g. Khoisan and Amund. Theory Mass comparison involves setting up a table of basic vocabulary items and their forms in the languages to be compared. The table can also include common morphemes. The following table was used by Greenberg 1957, p. 41, to illustrate the technique. It shows the forms of six items of basic vocabulary in nine different languages, identified by letters. The basic relationships can be determined without any experience in the case of languages that are fairly closely related. Knowing a bit about probable paths of sound change allows one to go farther faster. An experienced typologist, Greenberg was a pioneer in the field can quickly recognize or reject several potential cognates in this table as probable or improbable. For example, the path P greater than F is extremely frequent, the path F greater than P much less so, enabling one to hypothesize that phi, pi and fic, pics are indeed related and go back to protoforms asterisk pi and asterisk pic, x, while knowledge that k greater than x is extremely frequent, x greater than k much less so enables one to choose asterisk pic over asterisk Picks. Thus, while mass comparison does not attempt to produce reconstructions of protolanguages, according to Greenberg, 2005 to 318, these belong to a later phase of study. Phonological considerations come into play from the very beginning. The tables used in actual research involve much larger numbers of items and languages. The items included may be either lexical, such as hand, sky, and go, or morphological, such as plural and masculine. Rulin 1987, p. 120. Topic Detection of borrowings Critics of mass comparison generally assume that mass comparison has no means to distinguish borrowed forms from inherited ones, unlike comparative reconstruction, which is able to do so through regular sound correspondences. These questions were addressed by Greenberg 1957, p. 39 as of the 1950s. According to him, the key points are as follows Basic vocabulary is much less readily borrowed than cultural vocabulary. D. Arivational, inflectional, and pronominal morphemes and morph alternations are the least subject of all to borrowing. Any type of linguistic item may be borrowed, on occasion. However, fundamental vocabulary is proof against mass borrowing. Mass comparison does not possess means to distinguish borrowing in every instance. In particular and infrequent instances the question of borrowing may be doubtful. 
However, it is always possible to detect whether borrowing is responsible for a mass of resemblances between languages. Where a mass of resemblances is due to borrowing, they will tend to appear in cultural vocabulary and to cluster in certain semantic areas which reflect the cultural nature of the contact. The technique of mass comparison, as opposed to bilateral comparison, provides a check on whether forms are borrowed or not Greenberg 1957, p. 40. Borrowing can never be an overall explanation of a mass of recurrent basic resemblances in many languages occurring over a wide geographical area. Since we find independent sets of resemblances between every pair of languages, among every group of three languages, and so on, each language would have to borrow from every other. R ecurrent sound correspondences do not suffice to detect borrowing, since, where loans are numerous, they often show such correspondences. Greenberg 1957, pp. 39–40, Greenberg considered that the results achieved through this method approached certainty Greenberg 1957, p. 39, the presence of fundamental vocabulary resemblances and resemblances in items with grammatical function, particularly if recurrent through a number of languages, is a sure indication of genetic relationship. The place of sound correspondences in the comparative method It is often reported that Greenberg sought to replace the comparative method with a new method, mass comparison or, among his less scrupulous critics, mass lexical comparison. He consistently rejected this characterization, stating for instance, the methods outlined here do not conflict in any fashion with the traditional comparative method." 1957–44 and expressing wonderment at "...the strange and widely disseminated notion that I seek to replace the comparative method with a new and strange invention of my own." 2002–2. According to Greenberg, mass comparison is the necessary first step in the comparative method 1957-44, and, "...once we have a well-established stock I go about comparing and reconstructing just like anyone else, as can be seen in my various contributions to historical linguistics." 1990, quoted in Rulin 1994–285. Reflecting the methodological empiricism also present in his typological work, he viewed facts as of greater weight than their interpretations, stating 1957–45, our e construction of an original sound system has the status of an explanatory theory to account for etymologies already strong on other grounds. Between the asterisk vida of Bop and the asterisk gamma voidha of Sturtevant lie more than a hundred years of the intensive development of Indo European phonological reconstruction. What has remained constant has been the validity of the etymologic relationship among Sanskrit Veda, Greek Voida, Gothic Witta, all meaning, I know, and many other unshakable etymologies both of root and of non-root morphemes recognized at the outset. And who will be bold enough to conjecture from what original the Indo Europeanist 100 years from now will derive these same forms? <laughs> Summary The thesis of mass comparison, then, is that 
A group of languages is related when they show numerous resemblances in basic vocabulary, including pronouns, and morphemes, forming an interlocking pattern common to the group. While mass comparison cannot identify every instance of borrowing, it can identify broad patterns of borrowing, which suffices in establishing genetic relationship. The results achieved approach certainty. It is unnecessary to establish sets of recurrent sound correspondences or reconstructed ancestral forms to identify genetic relationships. On the contrary, it is not possible to establish such correspondences or to reconstruct such forms until genetic relationships are identified. Topic. Disputed legacy of the comparative method The conflict over mass comparison can be seen as a dispute over the legacy of the comparative method, developed in the 19th century, primarily by Danish and German linguists, in the study of Indo-European languages. Topic. Position of Greenberg's detractors Since the development of comparative linguistics in the 19th century, a linguist who claims that two languages are related, whether or not there exists historical evidence, is expected to back up that claim by presenting general rules that describe the differences between their lexicons, morphologies, and grammars. The procedure is described in detail in the Comparative Method article. For instance, one could demonstrate that Spanish is related to Italian by showing that many words of the former can be mapped to corresponding words of the latter by a relatively small set of replacement rules such as the correspondence of initial s and s, final os and i, etc. Many similar correspondences exist between the grammars of the two languages. Since those systematic correspondences are extremely unlikely to be random coincidences, the most likely explanation by far is that the two languages have evolved from a single ancestral tongue Latin, in this case. All pre-historical language groupings that are widely accepted today, such as the Indo-European, Uralic, Algonquian, and Bantu families, have been established this way. <inaudible> Response of Greenberg's defenders The actual development of the comparative method was a more gradual process than Greenberg's detractors suppose. It has three decisive moments. The first was Rasmus Rask's observation in 1818 of a possible regular sound change in Germanic consonants. The second was Jacob Grimm's extension of this observation into a general principle Grimm's law in 1822. The third was Karl Werner's resolution of an irregularity in this sound change Werner's law in 1875. Only in 1861 did August Schleicher, for the first time, present systematic reconstructions of Indo-European proto-forms Schleicher, however, viewed these reconstructions as extremely tentative 1874 he never claimed that they proved the existence of the Indo-European family, which he accepted as a given from previous research—primarily that of Franz Bopp, his great predecessor in Indo-European studies. 
Karl Brugmann, who succeeded Schleicher as the leading authority on Indo-European, and the other neogrammarians of the late 19th century, distilled the work of these scholars into the famous if often disputed, principle that Every sound change, insofar as it occurs automatically, takes place according to laws that admit of no exception. Brugman 1878. The neogrammarians did not, however, regard regular sound correspondences or comparative reconstructions as relevant to the proof of genetic relationship between languages. In fact, they made almost no statements on how languages are to be classified Greenberg 2005 The only neogrammarian to deal with this question was Berthold Delbruck, Brugmann's collaborator on the Grundry der Vergleichenden Grammatik der Indogermanischen Sprechen Greenberg 2005 158-159 288 According to Delbruck 1904 to 121 minus 122 quoted in Greenberg 2005 to 159 Bopp had claimed to prove the existence of Indo-European in the following way The proof was produced by juxtaposing words and forms of similar meanings when one considers that in these languages the formation of the inflectional forms of the verb, noun and pronoun agrees in essentials and likewise that an extraordinary number of inflected words agree in their lexical parts, the assumption of chance agreement must appear absurd. Furthermore, Delbruck took the position later enunciated by Greenberg on the priority of etymologies to sound laws 84 to 47 quoted in Greenberg 2005 to 288 obvious etymologies are the material from which sound laws are drawn the opinion that sound correspondences or in another version of the opinion reconstruction of a proto language are necessary to show relationship between languages thus dates from the 20th not the 19th century and was never a position of the neogrammarians Indo-European was recognized by scholars such as William Jones and Franz Bopp long before the development of the comparative method. Furthermore, Indo-European was not the first language family to be recognized by students of language. Semitic had been recognized by European scholars in the 17th century, Finno-Ugric in the 18th. Dravidian was recognized in the mid-19th century by Robert Caldwell 1856, well before the publication of Schleicher's Comparative Reconstructions. Finally, the supposition that all of the language families generally accepted by linguists today have been established by the comparative method is untrue. For example, although Eskimo Aleut has long been accepted as a valid family, Proto Eskimo Aleut has not yet been reconstructed. Baumhard 2008 209. Other families were accepted for decades before comparative reconstructions of them were put forward, for example Afro-Asiatic and Sino-Tibetan. Many languages are generally accepted as belonging to a language family even though no comparative reconstruction exists, often because the languages are only attested in fragmentary form, such as the Anatolian language Lydian Greenberg 2005 Conversely, detailed comparative reconstructions exist for some language families which nonetheless remain controversial, such as Altaic and Nostratic however, a specification is needed here, Nostratic is a proposed proto-proto language, while Altaic is a simple 
Proto-language, with Altaic languages widely accepted as typologically related. Detractors of both proposals simply claim that the data collected to show by comparativism the existence of both families is scarce, wrong and non-sufficient. Keep in mind that regular phonological correspondences need thousands of lexicon lists to be prepared and compared before being established. These lists are lacking for both the proposed families. Furthermore, other specific problems affect comparative lists of both proposals, like the late attestation for Altaic languages, or the comparison of not certain proto forms, like Proto Kartvelian, for Nostratic. A continuation of earlier methods Greenberg claimed that he was at bottom merely continuing the simple but effective method of language classification that had resulted in the discovery of numerous language families prior to the elaboration of the comparative method 1955 and that had continued to do so thereafter, as in the classification of Hittite as Indo-European in 1917, Greenberg 2005 -161. This method consists in essentially two things: resemblances in basic vocabulary and resemblances in inflectional morphemes. If mass comparison differs from it in any obvious way, it would seem to be in the theoretization of an approach that had previously been applied in a relatively ad hoc manner and in the following additions. The explicit preference for basic vocabulary over cultural vocabulary. The explicit emphasis on comparison of multiple languages rather than bilateral comparisons. The very large number of languages simultaneously compared up to several hundred. The introduction of typologically based paths of sound change, the positions of Greenberg and his critics therefore appear to provide a starkly contrasted alternative. According to Greenberg, the identification of sound correspondences and the reconstruction of protolanguages arise from genetic classification. According to Greenberg's critics, genetic classification arises from the identification of sound correspondences or others state the reconstruction of protolanguages. Topic. Time limits of the comparative method Besides systematic changes, languages are also subject to random mutations such as borrowings from other languages, irregular inflections, compounding, and abbreviation that affect one word at a time, or small subsets of words. For example, Spanish perro dog, which does not come from Latin, cannot be rule mapped to its Italian equivalent cane the Spanish word can is the Latin-derived equivalent but is much less used in everyday conversations, being reserved for more formal purposes. As those sporadic changes accumulate, they will increasingly obscure the systematic ones, just as enough dirt and scratches on a photograph will eventually make the face unrecognizable. On this point, Greenberg and his critics agree, as over against the Moscow School, but they draw contrasting conclusions. Greenberg's critics argue that the comparative method has an inherent limit of 6,000 to 10,000 years, depending on the author, and that beyond this too many irregularities of sound change have accumulated for the method to function. 
Since according to them the identification of regular sound correspondences is necessary to establish genetic relationship, they conclude that genetic relationships older than 10,000 years or less cannot be determined. In consequence, it is not possible to go much beyond those genetic classifications that have already been arrived at e.g. ring 1992-1. Greenberg argued that cognates often remain recognizable even when recurrent sound changes have been overlaid by idiosyncratic ones or interrupted by analogy. Citing the cases of English Brother 2002 which is easily recognizable as a cognate of German Bruder even though it violates Werner's law, and Latin Quatuor 1957 easily recognizable as a reflex of Proto-Indo-European asterisk K et war even though the changes E greater than A and T greater than TT violate the usual sound changes from Proto-Indo-European to Latin. In the case of brother, the sound changes are actually known, but intricate, and are only decipherable because the language is heavily documented from an early date. In the case of quatuor, the changes are genuinely irregular, and the form of the word can only be explained through means other than regular sound change, such as the operation of analogy. In contrast, the Moscow School of linguists, perhaps best known for its advocacy of the nostratic hypothesis though active in many other areas, has confidence in the traceability of regular sound changes at very great time depths, and believes that reconstructed proto-languages can be pyramided on top of each other so as to attain still earlier proto-languages, without violating the principles of the standard comparative method. Topic. Toward a resolution of the conflict In spite of the apparently intractable nature of the conflict between Greenberg and his critics, a few linguists have begun to argue for its resolution. Edward Vida, noted for his recent proposal of Dene Yeniseyan, attempts to stake out a position that is sympathetic to both Greenberg's approach and that of its critics, such as Lyle Campbell and Johanna Nichols. George Starostin, a member of the Moscow School, argues that Greenberg's work, while perhaps not going beyond inspection, presents interesting sets of forms that call for further scrutiny by comparative reconstruction, specifically with regard to the proposed Khoisan and Ammon families. Topic. See also. Comparative method linguistics Comparative linguistics Swadesh list